Hello everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to run an app on a real device without a USB cable. So without wasting your time, let's get started. So at first, open my computer. Then go to C drive. Then open users folder. Then choose your computer's username. In my case it is Lenovo. Here, you can see a folder named App Data. By default, this folder is hidden. If you are unable to find this folder, then you have to show hidden files. In Windows 10, click on View option. Then click on Options. Now choose View option, and then check Show Hidden Files, Folders, and Drives. So here choose local. And now go to Android folder. Then SDKN. Then platform tools. So here, you can see a file named adb.exe. If this file is not available there, then you have to download it. File link is given in the description box. After successfully downloaded, copy and paste all the downloaded files here. After that, open the CMD box here. Now make sure, your Android device and your computer system are on the same network. For the first time, you need to connect your Android device to the computer by a USB cable. Don't worry, you don't need to connect your device every time by using a USB cable. So now, if you have connected your device then type ADB devices command in the CMD box. As you can see the connected device is showing here. If no device is showing here, it means you have to check your USB cable whether it is connected properly. Or make sure USB debugging option is on in your Android device. So now, type ADB space TCIP 5555 in the CMD box. So now, type ADB space connect space IP address of your mobile phone in the CMD box. To get your phone's IP address, open the settings of your phone, then open the Wi-Fi option, and then click the info icon of the connected Wi-Fi. This is your phone's IP address. As you can see our device is successfully connected to the computer. Now you can remove the USB cable. And next time you don't need to use your USB cable. You can simply type ADB space connect space your phone's IP address. And if you don't want to use CMD, then you can also use a plugin. To connect your device with your computer system, you can install this plugin from the SDK Manager tool.